Hey guys, it's Miss Bridge Line TV, and this is my uh, December TBR. I usually don't do TBRs because I don't stick to them. I think I did write two of the bugs off of my September TBR, and then I tried another one, but that ended up being a DNF, which I'll do a DNF video at some point this month. Um, but yeah, I wanted to just do this because I have some things that I plan on reading. None of them physical copies. I really should be reading some of my physical books, but um, I have them all packed away because I'm going to be moving. And next week, next week, next weekend, so I have all those packed, but I have a lot of things out from Overdrive right now. Um, I just got some holes off of some books that I've been excited to read for a while, so I want to just read them. So I'm going to just tell you what those books are. Uh, first is George by Alex Gino. I don't know much about this book. I know it's a middle grade, kind of young middle grade book, um, and it is about a trans kid named George. And so, yeah, that's all I know about it. I was interested in it immediately, though, when I saw it, because I don't like a middle grade LGBT book. I, I've only read one other, two other middle, middle grade LGBT or books, and I liked both of them a lot. So hopefully I'll enjoy this one. Also, I just wanted to read more books with trans characters, to be honest, because I haven't read a lot. Um, next up from Overdrive, I finally got this book as well. I was on hold for it for a bit, and it is Shadow Shaper by Daniel Jose Older. It is a book about a, I believe the main character is Corey again. I'm not quite sure, um, but I know it's a fantasy series and she has some type of power dealing with art, art graffiti, and I thought that was interesting. I have a character, side character in my book that I'm writing has a power to deal with art, so I thought it would be really cool to watch and read how someone else did it, um, how the, how this kind of world is created. I'm excited for it. I have some people who have enjoyed it, so that should be a good book. Currently, I am reading Lost Hero from the Heroes of Olympus series, the first book of the Heroes of Olympus series by Rick Riordan. And this is a read. I am listening to it on audiobook, and it's amazing. And I'll probably be done with it tonight, actually, because I only have a few chapters left. But it's been great. I absolutely love the story. Uh, I love Jason Piper and Leo so much. Like, and so going back and looking at their first book, it makes me really happy. <laughs> Especially Piper's development from the beginning of the book to the end of the book, for sure. And she just becomes a lot more confident and stronger, and I just really love her character um, throughout the series, so that's, I'm very happy to be able to listen to an audiobook, and the audiobook is fantastic. I think the reader is Joshua Swanson. He's great. I, I really think he does a great job at it, even though some of the pronunciations of the words are a little weird, <laughs> um, but yeah, I, I just accept it. It's, it they're, they're really good audiobooks, so. Um, the last two things I'm going to be reading or trying to read, or maybe I'll read, because, you know, I don't often stick to these things. Um, I want to try to read something Christmas Eve, because I never read books for the season. Like, I don't read winter books during winter. I've never done that. I didn't read anything spooky during Halloween, the month of Halloween at all. I tried, and then I DNF'd it. So, <laughs> um, oh yeah, I guess I tried. Yeah, that wasn't spooky. We're not going to go into that. But I wanted to try to read something Christmas related and try to not be a Grinch because I need, and my sister calls me a Grinch. Uh, and so I'm going to be reading, first off for sure, I'm going to try to read this Christmas in Disguise by Natalie Cuddlington. Um, she is a booktuber and writer and I follow her and she's great. And she has this little short Christmas story uh, about a town that has lost the Christmas spirit or something happens in the town and they're losing Christmas spirit and this girl's trying to save the town and get their Christmas spirit back. And I'm like, okay, let's do it. It's better reading something very cheery like that than watching it for me because I don't really like Christmas movies very much. So I'm going to read it and hopefully I'll enjoy it. So at that, I'm definitely going to try to read that. Um, and I'll put a link down to her channel down below so you guys can check her out. She's really great. Um, and the other thing is an MM romance called Waiting for Snow. I have absolutely no clue what it's about at all. I haven't looked it up. It's just been in my Kindle for like seven months. I got it for free. Um, so I just wanted to go ahead and read it. I was sipping through my Kindle and I was like, oh, I should probably, may I'll read that during December. So yeah, I'll probably read it because I'm not, I'm planning on not reading another MM romance unless it's that one. So I'm definitely going to read Waiting for Snow. Um, but that's on my queue for MM romances. So that's that. I hope you all have a great reading month, and you should tell me what you're going to plan on reading for this month down below, and we can just talk about books. If you've re read any of these books, please feel free to talk to me about them down below as well. No spoilers, though, because, yeah, I mean, Lost Hero, you can talk all you want, because I've already read it, but, you know, but, yeah. Anyway, I'm going to go. <laughs> also, this is not Vlogmas. I know I haven't put up a video every day 
a Vlogmas, but that was just me trying to get a lot of content out before I move because I don't know when I'm going to put a video up after my move, to be honest. Um, because it's going to be a lot of settling and trying to become my comfortability in my new place and then also then trying to find a place to film in the new place. Like, I've been there uh, to the apartment and I think I know where I want to film. But that doesn't mean it's going to work out while filming there. So, yeah. Um, but, yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and me rambling. And I will see you all next time.